Round three, it is. This hand seems bloody fantastic. And our opponent is mulliganing. Thoughtsies condescend little Jace. Good times. Card on the bottom. Let's go ahead and Thoughtsies. Okay. If we get rid of Remand, we can play an untapped water grave, condescend his Ifrit, and then hit an island and play Jace. Of course we have to take two from the water grave. I think Remand is the pick though. Could draw an island. If we don't though, our plan is going to be rather see through, but I think it's worth it. Alright, he's not falling for it. Yeah, let's play the swamp so we have condescend and downfall. It's kind of not worth it. If he does play land, then the Ifrit, we can't condescend or downfall. After this, though, we're free to play our Temple of Deceit since we can downfall the Ifrit. Don't need that. All right, he has four cards, and we know about the Ifrit War Marshal. Okay. Go ahead and shriek ma since it seems like he's just gonna wait and we can't really do anything good. Hopefully he didn't pick up a counter, which he didn't. Alright, if he doesn't do anything too devastating this turn we should be golden. It looks like he's not. Downfall now. It's not worth the extra damage for all the things that could go wrong. It's probably worth it attacking. It's three damage for one is just too irresistible, even if we are on the defensive. By on the defensive, I mean we have five great cards to his two plus a draw step. So that means we're winning the long game. And does. 
does nothing. Cut up damage wise, it appears. Can't really play Jace since that saps up all our blue mana. So we'll just play Curse Scroll and I guess start scrolling his face. Tap on tap. Hmm. He wants to do it once we curse scroll, I'm guessing. I guess the one in five. There's a chance that's like a bluff, but I think the one in five actually isn't worth it just in case he wants to do something when we're tapped out. The one in five are doing two damage. Plus it reveals our hand, which is kind of sucky. Or it reveals a random card from it. So if we Jace, I'd rather just leave up my man, I think. Okay, he did nothing. Don't know what that means. If that was a bluff, could have been. Alright, Sarkin, huh? Assume he's minusing to kill Shriek Ma. I think I'll go ahead and condescend. Definitely don't want that. I do want that since we'll have the negate remove soul combo. That basically means the game is locked up. He needs some fantastic stuff from here. Uh, sure, start with an attack. And then we can play Jace since we have negate and remove soul. Is it charm? I think that's fine. And the 
ketchup on. It's going to have to wait. scroll if we want to doesn't really do much but the risk is also pretty low I think I'll just go ahead and play skin render. Take back the board without putting my shields down. shenanigans. Just go ahead and remove soul. I think I'll still wait on the Karn. It's possible I should just be running it out, but this seems fine too. Keep up Dismember, Negate, Curse Scroll with only three cards now. And yeah, I'll just take the hit. Rather just go for his face. All right, got him. Now we can actually Karn. Just win through Karn now. Exiles Mountain. Lab. 
landscape. That doesn't do a whole lot. Last card, since we can deal with the Riftwing. Control magic, that's a good one to get rid of. Just take the hit. so bad. Remember. All right. Guess he knows our hand now. Remember, since we can carn away any creatures, presumably, and it makes our hand smaller. What's our best card? Alright. Should be good here. Can kill him on upkeep with Cursed Scroll. Or the Profane Command if something goes wrong. And he's dead. Frost Titan, Force Spike, and stuff. Remand. Probably a good idea to write down all this counter magic. Sarkin and Flame Tongue. Control Magic and Frost Titan. Definitely want to rest.
balancing our stuff seems good. Hex mage would be okay. Curse scroll seems fine, though not that exciting. Dismember doesn't seem that exciting. I think I'm fine with this. Could also add like sh Shad and Port. Actually, that's Child of the Port. It's an 18th land. His hand's awesome. And he mulligans. Pretty standard opening. My hand's awesome and my opponent mulligans. Duressum. Oh, Garden Hellkite. Just obviously taking is it charm since it's since it can possibly do something whereas the incinerate doesn't. Game plan: cast Liliana, win. I think I'll actually wait on ice since tapping the land here doesn't do anything. But now I'll definitely cycle it since I want to hit my land drops. Could be bad if he, like, I don't know, gifts on givens or facts or fictions or something along those lines. Alright, sweet. Land is good. Alright, so he has Incinerate, Hellkite, two unknowns. I don't even know if I want to cast Liliana since we've seen Force Spike Miscalc. Remand beyond the is it charm? Hmm. Alright, moment of truth. I guess I just run it out. If it gets a force spike, that's pretty cruddy. Yeah, I, th I think it's worth it with our hand the way it is. Like, there's not really much you can play that punishes me, and there's a good chance it just resolves and wins the game on the spot. All right, counter spell. That's fine. If it had got four spike, that would have been less ideal. I didn't want to play the game where we allow, allow him to catch up to me on cards since I can't really do anything. Alright. 
That seems like a great skin render target. Could return it, but there's not really any point. All right, the clock has started. Dig through time. Definitely worth any gate. And he just has Hellkite left. This game looks to be very winnable. Seagate Oracle. Suppose I just let that happen and then shriek my it. Since we have plenty of answers for Hellkite. Hmm, future site, huh? I kind of want to be able to condescend the Hellkite. Yeah, let's just cast Street Maw. Since it's also bad if this gets countered. I'll go ahead and repeal since I want to draw another blue or that. Oops, I shouldn't have played that. Or, yeah, I guess I should since it allows me to condescend when I cast uh, Future Sight. If I want to protect it from a drawn counter spell, but it doesn't allow me to play my top card if I play future site and it's a land so I don't know if I should have played the island probably not since I can't actually condescend many things should have just cast the future site and maybe hit an island off the top or that thing but then I couldn't have condescended so worked out about the same Fair. I guess I have to counter that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to condescend this since he needs to hit a land and we get to scry too to find an answer to the Hellkite. And we can always just bounce it and then counter it. So yeah, definitely condescending here. Okay, for sure bottom you 
And I guess we're keeping you. Don't really want a deck, but we still have 21 cards left. And I'm probably casting it on upkeep. And he didn't hit a land for the Hellkite, it appears. Mm. Yeah, I'll still go ahead and upkeep the alchemy. We have enough to snap cast basically anything. Uh, probably just the remove soul. Do we have enough win conditions is the question. I guess we still have stroke and uh, Karn, Grave Titan. So we don't really need the Jace. Jace is a pretty poor win condition anyways. Sure. Thoughtsies. Uh, I guess I'm taking the Kabu. Pretty much have things locked up since I have Snapcaster with Negate in the yard and Remove Soul. Also, Future Sight is rather good. And he keeps taking damage. Probably about time to concede at that point. Yeah, our opponent had to mulligan each game. This deck seemed good. Although ours probably has a little bit of an edge in the matchup, since I have Duress and Thoughtseize, and a bunch of counters to his more conditional counter. Sweet, but... Good games, nonetheless. And yeah, 3-0. I'm surprised. I didn't expect that from this deck. I thought the power level was a little, little below the average for a control deck. But our opponents uh, ran into a bit of bad luck here and there, and we had awesome hands. So, yeah. Until next time, I'm Sean McLaren, signing off.